This video is brought to you by... Hey everybody! Ford and Pitchfork TV are teaming up for Artist Connect, a series of three videos each featuring a different up-and-coming indie band with a unique take on music. Each video showcases the band's performance and a day in their life with the Transit Connect. Ford's new sneaky fun van. Click here to go over to Pitchfork TV and check out Classics, a talented Los Angeles electronic duo, and don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Thank you! Hello, I'm the Amazing Atheist. Right now in the Ukraine, people are fighting for their political freedom. But here in the United States, white girls are fighting for something much more valuable. The reputation of Justin Bieber, who was recently arrested for DUI, although it now looks as though the DUI charges may have been trumped up. But uh, it's interesting to read some of the tweets that are out there about Justin, and I'm going to do so now for your entertainment and amusement. We will always support you, Justin. This has been trending for two days. Do you know how amazing this is? I think that you are confusing amazing with depressing. Or maybe you're just saying that it's amazingly depressing that We Will Always Support You Justin has been trending for two days when virtually no other news story that has happened in the last year or two has trended for that long on Twitter. Even stories of far far greater significance. Another victim of the fame. Justin, you saved millions of lives, not destroy yours. At Justin Bieber. We will always support you, Justin. So if Justin Bieber was another victim of fame, wouldn't the obvious remedy for that be to not pay attention to him anymore, to stop being a fan of his, because as long as you remain his fan and supporter, he will be famous. So really what you're saying is that you are victimizing poor Justin. I will catch you if you fall. I made a promise six years ago that I will never leave him. I'm keeping that promise. We will always support you, Justin. The fact that you have remained a fan of Justin Bieber for six years is remarkable, and not in a good way. We will always support you, Justin. There is a phrase that will never get old. Once a believer, always a believer. And this one kind of goes with the next one, which is, I joined this fan base to stay until my last breath. We will always support you, Justin. Once a believer, always a believer. I join this fan base to stay until my last breath. Seriously, girls, do you believe that you will be old women who have gone through the trials and tribulations of life, who have perhaps gotten married and had children, or who have uh, done whatever, gone whatever path through life? Do you think that you will honestly sit in your rocking chair, in your retirement home, as uh, orderlies come and bring you applesauce while you sit there addled with dementia, do you honestly believe that at that time, in those moments, you will be thinking of Justin Bieber? You will be just as dedicated to him, even when he is an old man no more appealing than any other old man? Do you think that you will still have this profound, deep admiration for him? Because I kind of doubt it. He was diagnosed with depression five months ago. Nobody knew. Nobody noticed. He didn't show. He stayed strong. He always kept a fake smile on his face while he was depressed. He helped fans to get rid of their depressions. He had to stay strong so his fans wouldn't worry about him. This boy is so strong. Justin saved millions of lives while he was broken himself. He is a real hero. We will always support you, Justin. So not only are they supportive of Justin Bieber 
during this time of legal troubles. They're using this opportunity to let us all know that Justin Bieber is not merely innocent of the crimes uh, that he's been accused of, but he is, in fact, a great person and a hero who has saved millions of lives. He didn't endanger lives with his reckless driving. No. He, in fact, saved lives with the positive power of his message, which is, Baby! I loved you at your best. I will love you at your worst. Retweet, if you will, too, through thick and thin, through rock and stone. By the way, rock and stone, pretty much the same thing. Unless you're talking about rocking out and getting stoned, in which case they're not the same thing. But they are uh, two things often enjoyed simultaneously. But Justin Bieber does not rock although he was allegedly stoned during his uh, joyride. He's not the next Michael Jackson. He's the first Justin Bieber. We will always support you, Justin. Michael Jackson, despite his faults as a human being, despite his odd behavior, despite uh, whatever other things you might want to judge him for, he was a talented man. And he was an excellent and exceptional performer. Justin Bieber is none of those things. Justin Bieber and Michael Jackson don't deserve to be mentioned in the same sentence. Unless, of course, you're talking about how much Michael Jackson would have liked Justin Bieber had he still been around. But I don't think that the reasons behind that affection would be musical in nature.